No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do some news now. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. Oh, right. I'm Matt Gordon. If anybody who wasn't here before, I'm Matt Gordon. Uh, I do a, a news segment at the beginning of everything, just like summing up what happened in the Ruby community uh, in the past month, which this month was really not that much. Uh, also, there's a little bit of a game. To it. So, uh, at least for the global news, I take the first image from Google Image Search for whatever the image thing, for whatever the, the news thing is, and get some very interesting things. So if you can guess from this image what the news item is, you get a prize. What's the prize? Beer. <laughs> oh. Yeah, if you can get this one, I will buy you a beer. Wait, is this local? Something no, Indian? this is global. Something Indian? Anybody? I'm going to cap it to like 15 Something seconds here. Uh, uh, Something New Color Order Arm I don't know. Nate gets a beer. Well, he's pretty close. Oh, by the way, I go digital buying your race first. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, Ooh. I'm sorry to step on your news like that, but except for mine, my first one is his. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, actually, well, it's, you were close. Our magic uh, posted saying that the, the guys that are maintaining it are no longer going to do that. So they're like, hey, we need maintainers. So uh, if you use our magic or you think it's neat or you know you feel like maintaining a prominent open source project in the community. Here's your opportunity because they just kind of, in classic open source fashion, they didn't like wait to try and find anyone. They're just like, hey, we're finished. If you guys want to, you know, work on that. I think it's crap. It can die. That's my opinion. <laughs> there, there's also that opinion. If you're on that, then do nothing, and then you can work out just the way you want. Yeah. Our, our whole business is kind of built on our magic, so. Hey, that, yeah, there's lots of stuff built on it. That doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> it, was, it was like the first thing, though. It's, yeah, like it's not good, stuff. it's just necessary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so is our magic just like a wrapper from Inch Magic? Essentially. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It sure. also works for Yeah. Well, actually, so, taps oh, into right. the C. It does work with other libraries. Yeah. <laughs> so, essentially. <laughs> okay, let's see. Next up, this, this is a low hanging fruit. You don't get a beer for this one. <laughs> but Chris especially doesn't get beer for this one. Anybody? Is this the Frank uh, Static Frank framework or? Merb. <laughs> uh, Sinatra 1.1 was released okay. this month uh, with some stuff which I was going to review, but I think that's going to be kind of pointless. I think Chris is going to cover it in his Sinatra talk. So uh, right. if he doesn't, I'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, pull that laptop out for no reason. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Passenger 3.0 uh, final was released, and really, uh, final wasn't really sorry, wasn't really that different from uh, uh, from the previous version. Just like a couple of things fixed, like uh, some socket errors, a couple of bugs. So if you're using the release candidate, it's pretty much the same. This is just uh, this is actually the first image was open. It's also a performance graph for the difference between or performance difference between passenger 2.2 and 3. So you know you should probably upgrade because it's pretty good. And also, there's a bunch of other features which I've covered in previous meetings, which also make Passenger 3 pretty compelling. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, this one's pretty tough. Uh, RSpec 2.0 was released. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Uh, it's bizarre. You know, good with us, we're good with us. Uh, <laughs> Actually, it was released the day before the previous meeting, but I missed it, so it was my bad. Uh, but it seemed like a pretty serious upgrade. Specifically, they, they changed the, the runner around quite a lot to have a lot more flexibility. I haven't gotten a chance to check it out. Does anybody in here actually use RSpec? Um, if you use RSpec, has anybody have you tried 2.0? No. No? I don't know the difference between the two. So. Okay. So. The, the spec command is now RSpec. <laughs> And so all your old tests are probably slightly broken. Yeah. What an awesome feature. <laughs> <laughs> I think they redid all the internal like structures of the classes. And yeah, stuff. it's broken up into a bunch of gems now, mm -hmm. really. Yeah, because I tried to use something that had like an RSpec adapter in it with RSpec 2, and that was a big mistake. <laughs> Didn't even get past line 7 or something. So okay. it's different. 
I know that. It's more different here. So, there's that. Uh, this one? Anybody? This is a good one. Yeah, right. So, compass is, you know, there's a, <laughs> yeah, uh, is now charity wear, which I think is, I just thought that was interesting. It's not really technical news, but he had this big blog post about, Instead of doing donations to develop the product, he's trying to get people to donate to a particular charity that he's a big fan of. And so there's blog posts, there's high up on through subreddit and some other things. So I don't know, I've never seen anybody label their software charity wear before. Is it the Rails kind of charity <clears throat> wear? Uh, don't they have some sort of they did a well, there's that water thing. Donate to clean water yeah. thing. Are you aware of this? Uh, I was aware of their donation, but I thought it was just like a temporary fundraising thing. I don't know. Anyway, this seems to be a semi-permanent thing. I don't know if it's actually going to get anywhere, but I thought it was interesting. In local news, uh, <laughs> our very own Dave Fish Jansen is going to be presenting uh, True Track at Hacks and Founders next Wednesday. Uh, I don't know if you have anything you want to say about that. <laughs> Good pitch. <laughs> uh, if you don't know about Hackers and, Fab Hackers and Founders, Hackers and Founders is uh, for the developers and business people who get together and talk about mostly software related businesses and startups in particular. Uh, and usually there are some pitches from local companies that are trying to do stuff, of which Dave is one, so he's going to talk about TrueTrack and how that's working out for him. TrueTrack is also relocating to Chicago. And there's that. Do you want to talk about that? I'm just sorry. I love you guys. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. clears throat> Is Troop Track why you're relocating? No. If I had known in advance, I would have given you a montage. <laughs> sorry, man. That would have been cool. We could still do that. You guys want to I think like it's actually required that you find someone named Dave to replace you in this group. Yeah. <coughs> we can't lose any days. <laughs> we don't have another yeah. quota. <laughs> Maybe um, the non days are going to pull like a Republican Party. Yeah. That's why you need to find a replacement. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I did bring a day once, but it didn't, it didn't stick. I don't know. There was uh. a pizza that night. So. <laughs> 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 well, it sounds like you've got until the end of the month, so. <laughs> I don't know. Advertise for Dave's. Um, let's see, uh, this is more plea for help than uh, news, semi news. Uh, Expect Behavior has this thing called Dockraptor. It's for taking HTML and turning it into PDFs and Excel documents to make those things easier. We made a, a Heroku plugin for it, but uh, in order to make it, you know, actually go, we need some developers to actually test it. So if you use Heroku at all, or you have you know, customers, whoever, that make PDFs or Excel documents or whatever. If you'd be willing to try it out for us, that would help us a lot. So if you're interested in that, uh, talk to you. anybody who expected behavior. We just, you know, we'll get a Heroku and send you uh, the alpha invite. You can check it out. And do some I feedback. can say that's totally awesome. I love Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Celeste Baker did the design, including this logo, which is super awesome. She's a great designer, so. Uh, you want the less information, I can give that to you. Uh, last thing, uh, let's see. Uh, a couple months ago, I made a uh, what? Uh, funny email forward. Moving on. Um, a couple months ago, I made a thing for a local a local charity. They were uh, they were doing a thing. Uh, they were doing the Pepsi Refresh Challenge, and they wanted to, uh, to help people get uh, get reminded to to vote every day because you can vote by SMS. So I just wrote them this really quick thing so that you could text to subscribe, and then it would send you a reminder every day, and you could you could quickly do the vote. Uh, uh, it didn't it didn't turn out for them because they just didn't have enough people. But I open sourced the code, so. I don't know. I think Twilio's documentation is a little 
leaves alone to be desired. So this application actually works. So if you you know want something like that, this code's up there. So it functions. All you need to do is just switch out the uh, the API key and run away with it. It's not like super duper production fantastic. Like I didn't even run any tests, which I'm a little embarrassed about. But it's there and it works. Did I miss anything? It was so kind of related to. Um uh, doing charity work. Was, there was some kind of event in town where it sounded like a bunch of coders got together and did work for um, nonprofits or something. Anybody go to that? Because it wasn't on my radar until after the fact. Give camp. Yeah, give camp. What was that about? Um, it was just that uh, was pretty much like that. I didn't go to it, but I was going to do it. Yeah? We got to do a charity. I think it's actually a nationwide event. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> And then startup weekend is this weekend or next weekend? That's weekend. right, it's this, this weekend. weekend. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to make a startup, go to startup weekend. 48 hours. Is anybody doing that? I think they're uh, really looking for developers. So if you're interested at all, that's the thing where people bring pitches and they vote and they kind of whittle it down and then do them? Yeah. Uh, two, three, or four. Or okay. Yeah. You have multiple ones to pick from. And as the developer, your voice is kind of double. It's true. Yeah. As if they lose you, they're screwed. If you, if you use the discount code NDRB, you get a ticket, a ticket for half price. So it's 25 bucks for the whole weekend, which includes some food and such. Huh? Yeah. Was, was Ninja Button one of those projects? Or yeah. Was yeah, well, uh, yeah, we made Ninja Button at the start of the weekend. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really fun. Uh, normally I would go, but I'm otherwise obligated, so. I just want to say I've seen this icon probably a hundred times, but I just now realized that that logo looks kind of like the end of a payphone. Just, just putting that out there. I never remember the picture. Like a button. Yeah, I thought it looked like a button, but now. What is it, David? It kind of looks like the end of an old-style payphone when you picked it up and it had the big holes on it. Yeah. Oh, it's a ladybug. Wow. Well, you have quite the imagination. Is that a car? <laughs> <laughs> so, Quilio, if you're listening, your logo is if it, not if it was a phone on the though. side and they made the other O bigger, never mind. Are we are we group redesigning Twilio's logo right now? I think we cut like O Twilio. Get him on the horn. Is this how Gap made their new logo? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's all the news. Well, that's all the news that's fit to say anyway. Has anybody been hacked by a fire sheet? Or tried fire sheet? No. Is anybody running it right now? <laughs> <laughs> I actually downloaded it right before I got here, but I didn't do it to really mess around with it. I saw somebody made a thing called Black Sheet. Yeah. That tells like, you if somebody stole your stuff on fire sheet. Yeah. Mm. But it only tells you after. <laughs> there's, there's, there's something else that came up on like Reddit or today it was like Shepard something. Yeah, there's a Windows thing that actually will crash whoever's using Fire Sheep on the network, which is kind of weird. But I do like that it's pushing the uh, the SSL everywhere type thing. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah, I was reacting pretty quick to that. Did they? Yeah. yeah GitHub added SSH for, hours, the uh, for the entire thing. Uh, Gmail is now SSH for the entire app uh, by default. G Gmail was SSL before. By was, it was before? Yeah. 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 Your question. Well, it looked like there system. was like 15 websites that were already loaded onto the thing. I didn't get to look at it too much, but was, I assume GitHub was one of the originals that was already loaded on there or something? Yeah, it was, and they weren't happy about it. <laughs> Dude, you took all. <laughs> well, I mean, GitHub was on there, so you took all for that. There. It's completely it obvious. Yeah. Oh no, someone's going to steal my Google like Tracker session and reorganize my tasks. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a session to steal and reorganize this? <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're going to have to wrap it up. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, there are important people on at least one of my Google Tracker projects. So if you made a bunch of inappropriate comments under my username, you could actually do damage. Boy, I shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> hey, who wants to go next? We're all thinking of inappropriate comments. We can't say out loud. <laughs> 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 <laughs>